Well, I am about to go out and spray my corn for earworms. Um, this is the first year I've used this safer. Uh, it's a insecticidal soap, I believe. It's got Bacillus thuringiensis in it. And, uh, and I may not be pronouncing that just exactly right, but I pronounce most things exactly wrong anyway. <laughs> Um, safer soap uh, supposed to do a great job on corn earworms from what I have read and seen on YouTube and such a lot of people swear by this stuff had a commenter on one of my other videos that just um, that said he used it and uh, um, I saw a comment on uh, <clears throat> Amazon under this product one of the reviews and a guy said he planted he got 150 ears or something like that and I think he said he had uh, earworms on like five or six or something like that so good stuff uh, supposedly we're gonna give it a shot I've got it uh, mixed up in my little sprayer and we're gonna just go knock some uh, corn out I'll show you what I'm doing it's not too windy for you to hear me now I don't want to imply to you that I am organic but I'm trying to do things a lot more organically uh, but just look at the corn first of all three ears on that and trying to make another one right there. I mean, this corn is crazy. Oh, dang, I hope it tastes good. Uh, but what what you do to, for earworms is spray the silk. Um, you wanna spray the silk, cause that moth, as I understand it, I may not be getting this exactly correct, but as I understand it, the moth comes in, lays an egg, lays her eggs on top of that silk, and then the, the worms um, crawl down in there. Uh, or, or once they hatch, they crawl down in there. So spray the silks. Now as I get in, as I get into uh, to the middle of this corn patch, it's gonna be hard to, uh, the rows are 30 inches apart and it's just gonna be hard to, hard to hit every, silk so i'll just uh you know i'll just give it a good dusting and uh, i will walk the the wind is blowing from from the right of this sh shot so i will start on this side and uh, no 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 i'll start on this side so the wind is at my back even though this is a very safe product i'll start here and go that way because the wind will be blowing any mist away from me uh Wind is going to be blowing this way. I'm going to be walking this way, so the wind should carry any overspray uh, ahead of me as I'm backing up, is what I'm trying to say. And I'll back up simply so I don't brush past um, uh, the corn that I have sprayed and because I'm wearing shorts and a long, uh, short sleeve shirt and such. But anyway, just uh, spray it down. This outside row is the least uh, prolific row. Well, I don't know. Something about the middles. I guess the middles. Now, most of you know this was used to be a. Is this is my back to Eden project in that it started out with uh, piles and piles of uh, wood chips here. Probably on this particular plot, probably 16, 18 inches deep. Let it mulch down because my ground is so poor and. Uh, it just uh, it really just turned this ground into a thing of beauty turn this soil so uh, some of these silks sure look dry and I know it's not time it's not time to pick yet but they sure look dry I don't know what's going on anyway uh, I'm gonna spray it again walking down the rows with the safer insecticidal soap and I'll uh, come back when I'm through well I got it all sprayed um, I got down to the end of the sprayer it had already gone down each row and I just let the wind work for me it stood on the back end wind blowing this way and just kind of pointed up in the air to try to try to cover anything I might have missed uh, the um, again some of these some of these silks are very green and some of them, like that one, looks very dark. It's not time for them to ripen. So I'm a little, a little concerned about some of these ears. But 
I need to water. I will water uh, in just a few minutes with my wonderful sprinkler system there, irrigation system, modular irrigation system. Uh, but the the uh, the silks are getting pollinated real well. Uh, in case you don't know about the the biology of this, this one's low. I'll show you that one. The tops, the tassels are around here. The old timers call them tassels. Have the pollen on them. That pollen falls down from the top of the plant and pollinates these uh, silks. As I understand it, every one of those little silks, every one of those has to have pollen on it. Has to get pollinated because each one of those represents a kernel on that cob. That's what I understand. I'm gonna go with it till somebody tells me different. So it's important that they get pollinated. So spraying does two things. First of all, it kills the earworms, and I'll get back to them in just a minute. First of all, it uh, it deters the ear the earworms. It deters them from even going down from the moth even to come on here, and I assume kills the um, the larva if she's already laid an egg. Uh, but anyway, it also as I'm walking through here, I'm shaking. As I'm walking through the field there, I don't know if you can see all that pollen falling, but I'm shaking that. Watch this. See the little things falling? That's the the little doodads that carry the pollen. So as I'm as I'm walking through here spraying, I'm uh, I'm deterring uh, the earworms, but I'm also kind of shaking things up a little bit. And allowing those things, I'm getting showered with these things. I got them all over me. Uh, I'm encouraging the pollination, so uh, especially while they're in the pollinating stage, which most of them probably are. So uh, back to the earworms. Uh, last year I did fall corn this time of year, planted in July, early July. I believe this is an 80-day corn. Last year I planted dent corn, field corn. And uh, let me just show you if I can get a shot of a bee. I got bees all over the tops of these things. Whether you can see that one or not. Uh, last year I did fall corn and I had very few earworms. So, and, and when I do spring corn, I'm eat up with earworms. Even spraying them, I'm eat up with earworms. So that's why I do fall corn. I just don't think those moths in this Texas heat, they get out of their little old thing and start flying. They say, holy moly, I'm not going to get out in this heat. Just like some of us Texans say, especially some of the newcomers, you know, the ones that migrated here from California or somewhere. Anyway, uh, I didn't migrate from nowhere. I was born here. So uh, I just expect, especially spraying this with this safer, this BT, uh, I expect very few, if any, earworms. Well, we'll see, and I'll show you. You know I will. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, got the corn sprayed. <clears throat> got uh, walking through, helped pollinate it, kind of shake. It's kind of like you do a tomato plant. Tomatoes, in case you don't know this, tomatoes do. Tomatoes pollinate or wind pollinated too. The bees don't mess with tomatoes much, so the, the, the pollen falls down. And shaking that tomato plant, a lot of people would just go by with a stick and just just hit their tomato plants. Wouldn't be a bad idea with the corn. Walk through it every day just with a little old stick and just, just drag through it like a little old boy on a picket fence. And uh, gave you a little Mark Twain vision there, didn't I? Uh, but you can do that with tomatoes too. Just shake your tomatoes up, shake them or tap them, something like that. Let that pollen fall down there, especially this time of year when they're, it's really so hot that they don't want to set fruit. I digress to corn. I was on tomatoes. Now, I shouldn't have got out, went off on tomatoes. Corn. So, uh, got it done. Got it all uh, done. Fixing the water. Um, and soaked these rows real good with that irrigation system. And we're just expecting a bumper crop of corn. We'll see how it goes. I fertilize it heavy enough. It ought to. If that fertilizer got down to the roots, we should have some good corn. So, but I think, still say we're pretty early in my opinion. Some of these ears are pretty good size. Uh, most of them aren't, but some of them, are, uh, some of them aren't bad even right now, and it's early for me. I'm thinking it's gonna be another month before corn comes, before corn's ready. I, I, these silks tell me it may, that may be not, that may be not, not the case. They may be earlier than that. I have to go back and read. Seems like I remember somebody 
posting a review on this particular corn and said uh, that it was early, that it was 10 days, 10 or 15 days early. If that's so, then I've got a couple of weeks. So I need to water this, get them kernels all filled out. Your vegetables are about 80, 70 or 80 percent water, so they need the water, especially this time of year. And um, I'll uh, I'll put the water to them. I want those ears, those kernels full of water. I want those ears that big around if they can get that way. All right, that's it. We're spraying with safer soap. Safer soap. Insecticidal soap. Nacillus thuringiensis. I'm not making up words. You'll have to look it up. Look it up. I'm not lying. Now, I may be mispronouncing it. <laughs> That's the possibility, but I'm not lying. Bacillus thuringiensis. That gum, that's a big word for me. Two big words for me. Uh, okay, we're done. Shoot, heck, we're gone. We got corn out the wazoo. We got corn stalks out the wazoo. I'm hoping we got corn cobs and corn corn out the wazoo in a few weeks. I'll let you know. Keep tuned. Subscribe if you ain't already. Subscribe and ring that bell. Lots of stuff on this channel. All right. Also got a website. I, I, I've had a website for a long time and I neglected it. I'm just now starting to to publish new articles, new posts, and new content. So uh, look down below in the description. The first thing you'll see down there is the uh, website. Click on that and uh, take a look. I haven't got a lot of posts up yet, but uh, I'm working on it. I'm working hard on it. So help me out and visit the website. All right, that's it. We are BTing the heck out of this corn. <laughs> All right, we're gone.